guys, what is up? Today we're going to be doing a review on the official firmware for the Samsung Galaxy S3. This is the 4.2.2 Jelly Bean leak, which includes features like um, the pull down notification center, so you get, can get quick access to all your toggles. Also, the new lock screen is there, so that's a great addition. And many more things we shall look at in this review. It has been a very stable ROM and has given me great battery life. So, let's get to it, guys. Okay guys, let's get into it. Now the first thing you'll see here in the starting is the lock screen. And now you can see there is a light effect which glow like it gives you a lens flare when you tap on it. So like let's just lock the phone and now let's just see what happens. See, you'll see a lens flare. And of course you'll get quick access to all your lock screen widgets you need. And this is dash clock I've installed. Um and let's go next. You can add a bunch of widgets as well as um you can see there's the any do beautiful widgets calendar clock personal message dash clock and all these other goodies you can you can have and if we swipe and if we pull this down and swipe that way you can basically get quick access to your camera by the way this is not the camera for the s4 so you won't be getting all the cool stuff so it should come in a future release so um stay with that so and then Another th cool thing you can do with the lock screen is that if you basically pull this down, you can edit it, like your message. As you can see, I, I've got my name here, and you can customize if you want the time or date. You can even choose the color. You can even choose what font you want in it, so it's a great thing. And other things you can do is basically... Um, you can do that, change color, and yeah so that's pretty cool and also you can see here that if I see the status bar it's matching with the wallpaper so that's a pretty neat addition they put in um, so this is a pretty stable leak for the S3 so let's check out some more stuff which is inside this little beauty um, another thing is S voice and as you can see here we will go into S voice and basically it shows us what you want to do. Hello. And now it's just recognizing what we're doing. And okay, she is lost. As you can see, S voice does not work very well with the with Samsung devices. I prefer not using anything as I do not like these voice assistants. Also, another quick tip is if you want to reduce lag on your home button, I'm going to the S voice settings and uncheck open by the home key. This will drastically change the lag time of your home button. So that's good. Um, another thing is let's go into lock screen. See, as you can see, the whole settings is revamped. Okay. Um, basically, this is whole, this is a tab form. So it's, it's tabbed into all of these. So you get all of these settings. In the more, when you go into account, you can see all your accounts sorted into one, and cloud and backup and resets. In connection, you get all your cool stuff like the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data usage, more networks, airplane mode, mobile network, tethering, personal hotspot, and VPN. You get NS NFC, S beam, screen mir mirroring, and keys. And my device is where the fun happens. There's lock screen, display, LED indicator, sound. Home screen mode, call blocking mode, driving mode, power saving mode, accessory, accessibility, language, and input motion, smart screen, and voice control. So, let's go into lock screen. And now, as you can see here, um, you can go into screen lock, and that's your what you get, basically. You can, uh, when you first get it, this will be unchecked if you don't want lock screen, which is, but just go and check it, it's the best thing. So, that's mainly 4.2.2. If you go into lock screen widgets, you can choose like when you swipe up, you can get your favorite apps if you want. So let's just go save. And when we swipe right, you you'll see that all your favorite apps are there now. Oh wait, this should work for some reason. No way. Um. Yeah, but it usually works. Oh yeah, uh, I chose the clock. Sorry, never mind. So yeah, let's just keep camera. So that's always good 
and we go edit personal information that's basically what you could have done in your thing that's what I showed you before so that is a good addition also you can choose from the rip ripple effect light effect if we go to the ripple effect they've kind of bettered the animation I think as you can see it's more like it's very simple here we just tap on the so it's very cleaner I think compared to 4.1.2 but you can be the judge of that that's just what I think and you get all the usual options it's going to display and notification panel as you can see here you get all your toggles you can't swap well you can okay and then if you click here you'll get all your toggles instead of just few here and you have to swipe through all of them you can also edit them so you can have it where you want it you can even like as you can see if you go order you can choose what you want from minus five to plus five so it's like the iphone but i don't know how this works but i never use auto brightness it kills my battery like very fast so yes and um if we go back let's go back and even you can like do this and like double two finger swipe down and you get the notification panel so that's also very good another thing you can do with this is that the screen mode um, you can go adapt display this is a new addition to the s4 so it comes here and also yeah so that that's about it um the the number for this firmware is i think it should be the j d q39 and check out my video on how to install it and i think that oh wait there should be daydream here okay let's go to daydream and let's turn that on basically this basically means that if you enable daydream when it's charging it'll turn on like this so you get a beautiful effect of all this color so um yeah other things you can do is your google currents let's just start now and now you can see all your currents when you're sleeping i don't know why you want to do that but i think this is a dis distraction to many but yeah it looks pretty good actually but i never use it let's just turn it off um some more new additions to this uh, they say it's driving mode i don't know what's new to driving mode i never use that but I think some new additions are there I just never use it there's also all your normal things like locking mode accessibility smart screens always there so smart stay and smart rotation if you did if you didn't have that and yes that's about it um, so please like share and subscribe this video and check out my how to tutorial on how to install this video and I'll be back with a new video soon and um, if you don't mind guys tell me what videos you would like what roms you would like and i'll and i'll i'll be i'll be pleasure to do those videos so thank you guys for watching this video please like subscribe and comment and i'll be back with another video goodbye